Hey guys, be good, Burp here. And today we're playing this game called uh, Retro Defense that uh, Xenoversify suggested to me in my Discord. By the way, uh, join my Discord for to give me video ideas. I am in need of them, please. Um, but uh, yeah, so we're just gonna be checking this game out. Um, no clue what's going on with this uh, achievements. I just joined the game. What? It, what? Uh, let me scroll a bit. Oh, beta tester. Cool. All right. Uh, let's just like go into a solo, I guess. Uh, hello? Okay. Uh go with toy bird uh both for a modifier none sure interesting um so let's just place the, the our goober try to get a good spot assume for range upgrades yep range upgrade first upgrade welcome player to retro defense you are currently playing easy mode make sure to place down top make sure to Awesome. Thanks. And three DPS. Oh, it calculates DPS for you. Awesome. That is actually is really helpful. So we can see we have four upgrades. There are a lot of hotkeys in this game if you're on computer. Awesome. Thank you. I am on mobile. This is awesome. Uno. Wait. You. Kill them. You have a rocket launcher. Kill those guys. Come on. And we have hidden detection. Okay, keep that in mind that the hidden detection is not expensive, so maybe it's a bit later. Uh, we have 35 waves here. Let's get a second guy. Uh, how much? Uh, yeah, that's pretty much... Oh, wait, it shows you future range. Awesome. Uh, yeah, we're this is pretty much optimal spots we're just going to get right here. This game is pretty solid. I mean, there's some nice features. When you're stronger than enemies, next wave, make sure to upgrade your towers. Good luck. Uh, infected. 25. Okay, yeah. Should be able to deal with those. Doing 40 PS, that takes like... 6 seconds to kill those. Yeah. Very standard wave set. It's a lot of fast guys. Fast guys have 6 HP. Rebel leaders inbound. Okay, so oh, there's actually oh, they have a boss tag. They have multiple of them. Let's get this upgrade. Uh, ten DPS now. I need to look targetings. Uh, last near strong. First, okay, so only our uh base essentials of targetings, and we dealt with those uh leaders very well i don't know if you can beat the starting game mode with just this tower but i mean hope you can considering they had like modifiers and everything and they have four game modes i don't see any reason why they would we wouldn't be able to do this because they definitely have like the scaling that's like nice i think that's a cool thing that they have like the not only they have like four game modes four game modes like four game modes like optimal in my opinion uh that's like optimal for scaling um but oh wait oh it shows you the level range you get from the next level oh my gosh do they get good range of max level explosive enemies still on death get long range retirements to gain the distance got it there great work for surviving against the explosive enemies now a couple waves enemies or oh, next couple waves will be relaxed awesome this is very reminiscent of tds's toy board i mean the stuffed bear these card tower thingies uh though they do have uno tds uh tds does not have uno well as long as you weren't getting like melee towers for early game or something those guys don't seem to oh my it's it's paradigm shift tower defense you now carry shields so shielded tower galactica 
next wave is hidden enemies. Okay, yeah. Uh, as I thought, they put hidden enemies rather way because how expensive it is on the starter tower. I assume later game modes will have earlier hidden enemies, just, you know, because probably later towers will have... Oh, okay, so... Ugh, tower X. Hopefully they... They're doing. They do uh, better than what Tower X did, and don't just have every single en enemy be hidden. In fact, a giant inbound it gets twenty five percent less damage and is very slow. Awesome. Uh, six fifty HP. I think we should be good on it. I mean, if we can skip, we can get that uh, thirty DPS. Be made a. I don't know. It'll be made like twenty or something. There we go, I've got max level. Your parents are bound, they're tanky, and have their child on their back that'll pop off when killed. I don't see them. Maybe they were at the beginning of the wave and we just kind of killed them. I'll just spam these uh level threes. Oh, or level fours. Oh. How is this? Sweet. Level one. Level two. I'm just being stupid. Fuck your recruit. Dang, they're really not hiding the TDX inspiration. Oh, is there an auto No, there's no auto skip. I was hoping there'd be an auto skip feature, because I'm just spam skipping, anyways. We get 58 towers down. Thirty seconds? That is a long cooldown. That's a lot of the necromancer guys. So now three of them all just all of a sudden. Are they paused to summon? That's a blessing. Monolith defense reference, monolith defense reference, monolith defense reference. Sorry, I have uncontrollable brain rot. They are really not trying to hate. They're, 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 they're not trying to hide the TDX inspiration. Little bros cannot escape the TDX allegations. Like, I know it was in the description that they were inspired by TDX, but seriously. Uh. Yo. Uh, guy, 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 guys, uh. Oh my god, bro. Oh, come on. Uh. All right, well, uh, I guess that's just gonna be it. I, I don't think I can do this, especially not with like, you know, the time I have right now. Um, I don't know how to feel about this game because like on the one hand, it's kind of like cool, I guess, but like it f feels like they don't have like too much like original stuff. And it, uh, this is like one of the games where it feels like they took a retro theme, not to, you know, for to to have a theming but to be lazy and not have to model things i don't know that's just my personal take on it but yeah thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed and yeah be good bye